Good morning, everyone. It's the end of the week at City Hall. Uh, just going to catch up with you on some things that have happened this past week, talk to you about some things that we expect uh, coming up in the next um, several days. Uh, this Sunday, this Sunday at the train station, uh, the Miles and Rogers Community Consulting Services, it's a new company in our community, um, is going to be having a fair and expo uh, at the train station. It'll be from 4 until 7. Uh, it is there to uh, provide uh, information uh, about uh, healthy living. Um, this is Women, Women's History Month, and it's celebrating uh, that as well as being um, available to people uh, with regard to some health and beauty aids. Uh, so if you have uh, the time to get down there Sunday, March 26th from 4 until 7 uh, at our train station, uh, you could learn a few things as well as perhaps um, obtain uh, some uh, tips on health, uh, healthy living. Uh, so please make your way down to um, <clears throat> the expo at our train station on Sunday. Uh, a week from tomorrow, uh, the firefighters, our Niagara Falls firefighters, will be having their firefighters ball. Um, it is an opportunity for uh, the firefighters uh, to recognize uh, some of the activities that have occurred throughout uh, the year, um, some of the efforts by uh, our firefighters uh, in the job that they do every day. It celebrates um, <clears throat> their uh, hard work and their efforts in our community, as well as um, sort of indicating, uh, just you know, uh, recognizing rather uh, through awards um, some of the heroic efforts by our firefighters. Um, I'm pleased to be able to join with them uh, a week from this Saturday uh, for the Firefighters Ball and Awards Dinner. Uh, this past week, um, I had the opportunity uh, to again uh, provide uh, some funding to a women-owned business um, in our city. Uh, they are a full grant award winner under the city's MWBE grant program. Uh, they are one of several uh, businesses that have received um, a full amount of funding through, um, through our program. So we're excited to be able uh, to assist MWBE Enterprises uh, with this funding uh, to help them get back on their feet post-pandemic as well as to help them grow. So congratulations to, and if you're interested, uh, please contact our Economic Development Department. Um, you'll get information uh, on the MWBE program, grant program. Um, and then you may become eligible as well for uh, grants under that program. Uh, for those that um, enjoy uh, the parades that we have uh, in our community, I want to let everyone know that on Saturday, May 27th, I know it seems like it's a long way away, but Saturday, May 27th, there will be a Memorial Day parade. Uh, the Memorial Day parade, though, will uh, be on a different route this year. It will be right straight through um, Hyde Park. It will start um, on Linwood Avenue and head toward um, the Veterans Memorial across uh, Robbins Drive, uh, Lieutenant Bobo Drive. Um, so please uh, mark that date on your calendar, Saturday, May 27th, for the Memorial Day Parade um, in Hyde Park. The parade will start at 10 in the morning. Um, and as we get closer, uh, more and more information will be published so that you'll know um, more about the parade. But just to let everyone know, mark your calendar, May 27th, 10 a.m., uh, Memorial Day Parade at Hyde Park. Um, we continue uh, to move forward with a couple of our projects here um, in City Hall. We anticipate uh, being able to announce um, in the, uh, this coming week the... Um, selected vendor for the relighting of the city. Um, as you know, I've explained a couple of times uh, previously our intent to um, relight the city with LED lighting, brighten the city up, as well as provide some technology, smart city technology, uh, through um, this installation. Uh, we have gone through a rigorous uh, proposal process, um, have um, initially uh, pared down uh, the level of vent the number of vendors to three and then among those three have now selected one that we think will best provide 
this effort for our community. Uh, again, improving uh, the appearance of our community as well as delivering some much needed technology in, um, in a variety of areas. Uh, so uh, once we have notified uh, all of the vendors, uh, then we'll be making an announcement on that project too. So that's another, it's another one of our American Rescue Plan projects um, as requested by the community uh, to improve the appearance of our, of our city. Um, we continue to move forward uh, with um, our efforts. Uh, as I indicated to you, I believe last week I spent a very um, profitable, successful um, trip to Albany with our state uh, leaders um, with regard to the event center and the park. Uh, they have expressed, continue to express, uh, their support for the project. Uh, they are pleased at the fact that we are, as a city, uh, taking action against, um, you know, a pretty, um, pretty predictable uh, landholder in the Milstein Properties Group. Um, for the last 25 years, uh, they've really had the same recipe where uh, they do nothing on their property, um, drive down value uh, because they leave buildings uh, vacant, boarded up, and dilapidated. Um, and by driving down all property values, uh, then asking um, residents to pay additional property tax because they're going to be getting a reduction for their property taxes. You know, it's interesting. Um, recently, I received a letter from the superintendent of schools. And in the letter, he writes about his disgust for uh, the amount of money uh, that the school district is also losing uh, because of how the Milstein Properties Group um, treats the city of Niagara Falls. Hopefully the superintendent will publish this letter in the Niagara Gazette. I think it, I think it bears reading by everyone um, because you know, this, not only impacts, um, this not only impacts our downtown, but it impacts each and every business and homeowner every taxpayer um, in our community. Uh, and it's pretty clear, I think, to all of us um, that this group doesn't really care about the community. Um, what's really remarkable is that they seem to have gotten some um, local public officials ear. I don't know, maybe it's promises that are made. I don't know what it could be that could allow um, public officials uh, to surrender their um, responsibility to taxpayers by um, sort of committing themselves uh, to standing with a developer, I use that term loosely, a property owner uh, that has done nothing in 25 years. You know, it's the same recipe uh, that's probably been going on now for at least a, over 20 years. Um, you know, uh, acquire property, make bold promises, um, and then once everything settles, don't deliver on the promise. Happened in 2003, happened in the, um, the mid-2000-teens. Uh, this group has a track record of um, presenting themselves as great uh, developers, uh, people who are going to uh, do great things for the city of Niagara Falls. And here we are 25 years later, and the promises they made at the Turtle never came to fruition. The promises they made um, out at 10th and Falls Street never come to fruition. You know, after a while, um, I think the people of this city, um, I, I, I think we're pretty uh, savvy. I think that we recognize when someone is really just trying to pull the wool over our eyes. And there is no question with this group, with this Milstein group, uh, that that's what they intend to do. It is really, um, it's really shocking uh, that they can once again um, try to come across with, um, you know, this tremendous project that they want to promote, that they're spending. The, the other thing, too, is that they're spending amazing amounts of money on public relations rather than on construction or on uh, development. But I think that speaks to just the nature of their character as a um, uh, property owner. So we continue uh, to advance 
uh, our efforts uh, to secure property from uh, this land holder um, with an interest to developing it uh, for the benefit uh, of our hospitality industry um, as well as for the benefit of our residents. Um, as this thing begins to move uh, further um, along the, along the uh, trail, uh, we have a matter scheduled in May uh, for argument on the public purpose um, of the property that uh, the city uh, wishes to obtain. And so I'll give you more information on that as, um, as that begins to unfold. Um, we uh, think, I'd like to think that spring, although I know the calendar says that spring is here, uh, this weekend, um, we're expecting some, uh, again, some challenging weather, wet, cold. Uh, so please be careful if you're out and about. Um, I know that there will be a number of things that are going on. Once again, I'm inviting everyone to please make their way down to the train station on Sunday uh, for uh, the expo. Um, and be on the lookout for other things that are going to be happening in our community. Uh, we're, as spring begins to unfold, more and more things are going to start happening, um, as, as they usually do in the city of Niagara Falls. So I look forward to talking to you again next week. Have a great day.